I honestly never thought about creating this video. But I've noticed that many of my clients find it very hard to move around and navigate the Facebook Business Manager or now known as Meta Business Suite. And that's why I'm creating this video for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you around the Facebook Business Manager dashboard. I'm going to show you how to add people to your business account, how to check out your ad accounts, your pixel, your website, and so on. If you are already very familiar with Facebook Business Manager, you can skip this video and watch another video from my YouTube channel. But if you find the Facebook Business Manager intimidating, I highly recommend you to watch this video up until the end because I'm pretty sure it's gonna help you. I will assume that you already have a Facebook business account for your business. If you don't have one, you just need to go to Google and search for Facebook business manager and simply create a business account for your business. And under this business account, you will put all of your business assets. I'm talking about Instagram page, Facebook page, your ads, uh, your ad accounts, your pixel, your website, and so on. Okay, it's very simple. Just create one and you will assign all of your assets within it. Okay, now moving to my screen in here, this is the Meta Business Suite or Facebook Business Manager. And in here in the homepage, you can see the pages that are under this uh, business account. We are going later to talk about how to assign pages and so on, but this is your homepage. And here you have some tabs that you can explore. You have, for example, you have, for example, the notifications. So you see your pages notifications. You have the inbox. Uh, you have the planner if you want to plan, uh, like your content, or if you have someone working with you and you want them to plan the content, you can do it from here. But I usually don't touch any of these options. What I do usually is to go directly in here to settings. And from here, I go to more business settings. I think that this dashboard is easier and that's why I like to navigate from here. Okay, so in here I have my business account and as you can see, when I click in here, there are different business accounts that I uh, have uh, permission to, but I'm selecting this one as an example. Okay, under it, I have these different tabs. The first tab is about users. So those are people who can uh, have access to some of my account assets. Okay, in here, if you want to add someone to your business ad account, you need to do it here. You click here on add and you add this person. You give them either the employee access or the admin access. You can use their email uh, to invite them. They will receive an email inviting them to uh, be part of your business account and they need to accept, okay? Under that, you have partners. If you want to add partners to your business uh, account, I don't do this usually. Then under this, you have the accounts. Okay, the first tab you have is for pages. So in here, you have your Facebook page. Okay, and if your Facebook page wasn't in here, when you create your business account, you need to assign it to this business account. Okay, this is very simple. When you create the business account, Facebook will walk you through how to assign these assets, especially the Facebook page because it's within Facebook. If you want to add people to this Facebook page and give them access, you click here on add people and you select one of the users you have added in the previous step and you just give them the needed access. Okay, so it's not enough to add someone in here. You need to add them first here. Then you need to go to each of the accounts and give them the permissions. Okay, after pages, you have the ad accounts and this is where you can access your ad accounts. Okay, let's say for example, I want to give uh, someone permission for this ad account. I click here on add people and I uh, select the person and in here I manage the control or the access they, will, uh, they are going to get. Okay, as you can see, when you click on the ad account name, you can see the people who, are, who have access to it. And in here you can open this ad account in uh, ads manager or you can view payment method if you wish. Okay, so if you click here on open an ads manager, it will, it will take you to the ads manager so you can see the results. Okay, then after that you have um, these tabs I don't usually use. After that you have the Instagram accounts and in here you need to link your Instagram uh, page. Okay, you just need to add your account and when you add it, they will ask you to sign in. Uh, using the same uh, browser and you will have your, your uh, Instagram account in here. So this is for accounts. Then after that, you have the data sources and in here you will see everything related to data. So you will have your catalogs. If you are a Shopify uh, user, you will have your Shopify catalog. Then you will have your pixels in here. 
So this is, these are my pixels. Uh, then if you have added some offline events, you can find them. Uh, some custom conversions as well. I usually don't touch these also. Okay, under brand safety, you will see your domain if you want to add your domain. And you will see uh, if you have blocked something, you will see it in here. Okay, this, this in here for integration, I usually don't use any of these two tabs. This is for payment methods and this is very important. You need always to add at least two payment methods within Facebook to make sure that you are on the like um, good side because they always prefer to make sure that they can bill you. Okay, so add two payment methods to be on the safe side. Okay, after that, uh, there is the business info, which is one of the most important tabs in here. In here, you fill all of your business info before starting to run ads. So you fill your business name, the address, the phone number, the website, everything. And in here, you will know how many ad accounts you can create. Also, when you create a business manager account, they ask you to have two-factor authentication. So you need to activate this, okay? So this is to how you navigate within the Facebook Business Manager. Honestly, I spend so much time in here and uh, a lot of people find it very hard for them to find, for example, where their pixel is or where their ad account is or how to access the ads manager and so on and how to add people. I hope this video will help you to understand all of this. And if you are totally new and you don't know anything about how to link your Shopify store, for example, to your business manager and so on, I highly recommend you to check this video on this YouTube channel because it will show you exactly how you can link your Shopify store to your business manager and how you can set up your Instagram shop. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you how you can attract, convert and retain more customers. I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and sustainable. So if you are interested in creating a strong, sustainable e-commerce business, go down to the description and sign up to this free workshop. It's 100% free and you don't need to pay any dollar. Thank you again for watching this video before leaving. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you next week. Bye-bye.